Hi everybody, I'm going to talk about wrapping without a shaper using just a no-slip headband and some scarves and getting that really pretty full wrap look. So right now I have my no-slip headband right here and I have a high bun and no, no plastic scrunchie, no perfect full scrunchie, just a pedestal scarf, a no-slip headband and a bun. And I think it's pretty cool, pretty nice. I like it. Um, but I'm going to show you some variations. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the placement of the nose look headband. So when you're feeling very achy or just like, you know, you don't want to wear anything on your head, but you still want to be covered, the no slip headband is much more comfortable if you line it up further back and you don't put it on your ears. You want to avoid putting it on your ears. And then the scarf, you can line up over here, even though the nose look headband is there. The other thing you want to make sure is that when you put on your nose slip headband, that the friction is going the right way. So you're going to put your finger from the front towards the back, and you're going to pull back, and you're going to make sure you feel some friction. That's how you know it's in the right place. Okay. Um, the next thing... I want to tell you is scarves. Use lightweight scarves. Think petal soft, think two in ones, think back to basics, shiny licious, sparklish. Think very, you don't want to, don't think cranberry, don't think tapestry. I mean, maybe you'll find a way to make it work, but for me personally, those just don't work for me. Just not something that's going to add a lot of bulk. You don't want to feel like you're wearing a lot. You just want to feel like you're not wearing a lot. Okay, the next tip is um, using a scrunchie, the own plastic scrunchie or the perfect scrunchie around your bun and add a more value. If you do not have enough hair for a bun, you can just push them in and I'll show you how. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to loosen up your knot or loosen up your crisscross, just like undo it a little, and then just push in scrunchie or three or five <laughs> and then tighten up your knot or crisscross again okay so i have it tied my pedal stuff tied on one side slightly longer than the other but almost even so the first one i'm going to put up is the shorter end and the shorter end i'm going to fold in the edges i'm going to bring it around and okay maybe the edges are not folded in but that's okay, it's pretty. <laughs> so um, we're gonna bring it further back on our head. And I'm just gonna bring it around, find the pocket where it started, and just tuck it in. And then the other side, just gonna fold in those edges. First, I like to find where it naturally lays like from the knot where it falls out, and then I'm going to fold in the edges and bring it around, guiding it around, smoothing it over as you bring it around. And then you can tuck it in to the pocket where you first started, or something I like to do is I like to have a little tail. So I like to put two fingers from the front to the back and then pull through the tail. I wanted to show you a different variation also. So right now what I have differently is possible I have a different scarf. I have a bright navy shiny listener scarf and I have my velvet headband starting from here and then the scarf I tied right here. And I have this time short and a long end just tied you can crisscross or you can tie a knot this time i tied a knot but crisscrossing is fine too and then i'm folding in the edges and i'm bringing it around and sheer tails sheer tails is a great wrap for without a shaper the also difference i have here that this time I've done a low bun to show you how it looks with a low bun. 
and I'm going to show you a different variation of beginner's luck knot. So again, just tie the knot. Either you can leave it there or you can tuck it in right there around. Another little cute variation is beginner's luck knot without pulling it through. So just looping it slightly and then spreading this out into a little ruffle. You can leave both sides hanging or the longer edge you can bring around and tuck it and find somewhere to tuck it into the pocket where you started. You can also add a sash. I would stick with sari sashes, sari singles, different kind of sashes, different kind of headbands. I personally would not layer two scarves without a shaper. I feel like a shaper gives you the space you need for two scarves. So I'm putting, when I tie my sari sash, I'm tying it one end under the long end, and the other one is over the shorter end. I'm not putting it under here, and it's over. And then I tie the knot, and this side I tuck up over here. Now here, you can even do angles. I didn't show you angles for modesty reasons, but you can tie it on angles initially. You can tie it on angles now and bring it around. Um, we could do a share tails. We could do a lazy April right now. See, I didn't know what I was going to do, but it worked. So, <laughs> so now with this is a lazy April where you just, you don't tie the knot here. You just continue bringing it around and then tuck it in somewhere. This time I'm tucking it into my sash. You could tuck it into your base scarf, either, either works. And then you can bring around your sash. And we can pull that a little. Now put your two fingers through and again, secure it like this and then bring it around and find somewhere to tuck it. And there you have it. Mm -hmm.